Hey, what's up? My name is Michael, better known as Killer Mike, and I am hip hop. I'm about to take you through some of the most important moments in my hip hop legacy. If you look at the cover for Michael, there's a buck tooth nine year old kid with a sweater and a flowery collar on. He knew he was gonna be a rapper. My mother was 16 years old when she had me, and what we had was a lot of fun time, smiling, dancing. With her, it was a coarse soul from your Curtis Mayfield to your Isaac Hayes. It was disco and Donna Summer. And then she, man, discovered this guy, Curtis Blow, Grandmaster Flash. She discovered Houdini, and she's playing all these records around me. And I'm just like, wow, this stuff is, is my, it's groovy in a different way. My mom liked it. But then these guys called a fat boy showed up. And these guys called Run DMC. And everything changed for me. I was like, I'm chubby. These dudes are chubby. They rapping. They fresh. Oh, that's what I need to be doing. And then when Run and D came out with the black denim, the starter jackets, the Adidas, it was a rap. I remember telling my mom, like, I want to be an MC. And she was smoking a joint, and she was like, fuck it. That's what we gonna do then. So whose house? Run the Jewel's house. I got that directly from Run. Shouts out to the OG. Before I became a rapper, I became a father. You know, I became responsible for other human beings' lives. I got married to a woman who I'm still devout and, and, and love right now. First years of my my raptum was was tumultuous. Slim Calhoun, I thank him for putting me on this record. You know, Slim put me on, and then DJ Clue put me and him on on a record that came out yeah, on the Rockefeller album. He had dropped it around one of the movies they did, and um, it just meant the world to me. Slim doesn't often get the credit he deserves. He was the first artist that was on the Clement Out Records. He was always open and forthcoming. He took me on promo tour with him, and you know, I just love him to death. So, Hoon, I appreciate you still. Look back at it, Katrina. My man DJ Men is down in Dallas. When when he brought that record to me, I was like, well, it's not literally my counter record. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop has a rich tradition of the call and response, not just like, you know, in terms of courses, but like the guy versus gal record. And she had entered the game on that. And I don't think we understand the value and that equity it creates. And I think both of us were kind of like, well, we'll do it. And it turned out to be a record that that still perform to this day, to, to glee and enthusiasm. So that one I'm glad I didn't pass on because a lot of asses stay shaking to that record. As Run The Jewels, I'm one half of the greatest living rap group going right now. This is our 10th year together. I remember when things went different. I remember when we were doing three to 500 people rooms, we were happy. We were just like, man, we got, we got sold out three to 500 people rooms. I remember when we got the call on the road, the venues were changing. And at first I thought that was something bad. I was like, why are our venues changing? And our venues were changing because the three to 500 shows were now going up to eight to 1200 capacity shows. And by the time we came off that tour, we were 1500 capacity people and better. And we were constantly sold out. And so Run the Jewels has been the defining moment in, in terms of selling out venues for me. I've been very proud to be a part of this group the last decade and, and sell out venues still. Too Short is a legend. KRS-One is a legend. Uncle Luke, I'll give him his flowers. Luke Skywalker is what we used to call him, is an absolute legend beyond music, right? He freed up the sexual revolution of sorts to let young people know it's okay to shake your ass and thrash about. But he also told us to use condom in the heights of the HIV era. Luther Campbell, when faced with the threat of losing it all for an obscenity charges in Broward County, fought that case and won the rights of all Americans to freely express themselves and have freedom of speech. So I give it to Luther Campbell for what he does in the real world world outside of a microphone. Hip-hop essentially is self-organization with poor people. And they self-organized and created a culture which thrived to be a business, which has become, you know, one of the number one artistic exports out of this country. And I gotta say, I learned that if y'all wanna rap the way I wanna rap about the stuff I wanna rap about, you better have a stream of income that doesn't make you dependent on a record company. So, you know, I own a barbershop, I employ about 40 people. I'm learning to be a businessman as I sit here, and I'm enjoying the learning process. I got into real estate, buying single family homes, HUD homes, things that that nature to circulate income, that makes me happy to know that I'm a jobs provider and a businessman, not just a dope MC. Hey, what's up? My name is Killer Mike. I'm here saying happy birthday meant to hip hop. It's 50 years old. It's been a dope first 50 and I'm looking forward to 50 more.